Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Ravenous. Welcome back to another tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to mix hip hop vocals the way I do it anyways. Now I predominantly mix in Pro Tools, but I want to show you that you can mix a hip hop record in Ableton and still make it sound dope. So I was very fortunate I was able to mix a Desi hip hop record for you guys. The artists on this record are Calm and Prabdeep, and they were so kind enough to let me show you guys in a tutorial on how I mix this record. All right, so let's get started with the vocals. So with any record that I do, doesn't matter what genre it is, I always start with the vocals because that's the most important thing. And typically as an engineer, when you start with vocals, you got to tune them and you also got to automate the vocals to make them sound good. Typically the first plugin that I use is Vocal Writer. Now I like to use this plugin on vocals just to make sure the dynamic range of the volume is relatively similar. Now it doesn't work all the time especially in like ballads and stuff where you want that feeling but with this hip hop record it's in your face so I wanted to make sure that the vocals were coming in hard and this plugin was perfect for it and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to play the vocals without the plugin. Mint is boundless, we're inhaling toxic vapor, machines controlling humans and humans controlling nature. Now I don't know if you can tell or not, but the dynamics of the vocals are just all over the place for me. Now when I put this plugin on, you're gonna hear how nice the vocals sit right in front of the mix. Vapors, enlightenment is boundless, we're inhaling toxic vapor, machines controlling humans and humans controlling Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off and on, you'll hear the difference. You'll hear when I turn the plug in off how the vocals are all over the place, and then when I engage it, how nicely it sits. If they don't tell you the truth, why am I throwing so that's off. Papers, now here it is on. We're inhaling toxic vapor, machines I don't know, just something, it just does something magical with the vocals, nature, which I really like. Now the next thing that I do in the vocals, I'll go in and kind of sweep those frequencies which I don't really like, that are really bothering me. Now I'll go in here meticulously and try to find those frequencies. For example, this frequency here, which is around 7K, I just didn't like it, it was too sharp for me and I turned it down. Let me see if I can kind of turn that up to see what it sounds like. Humans and humans controlling nature. God is scared of what he created. That is why he never showed up. All the blood that drips. Innocent killed. Innocent kids who didn't do shit. They're dropping those missiles. Yeah, see, there's something that I didn't like, so I just turned it down a little bit. Be the easiest prophecy. Nothing but wars and only for what. So I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this or not, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it. You'll definitely hear the low end as I cut that out. So I'll do all my cuts in the beginning because I don't want my compressors to do all the heavy lifting. So I'm going to turn the EQ off. So this is about the EQ. Inhaling toxic vapor, machines controlling humans and humans controlling nature. This is God with the EQ. Is of what he created. That is why he never showed up. All the blood that drips, innocent killed. Again, I'm not sure if you can really hear those EQ cuts that I did, but you'll definitely hear when I cut the low end. After I get all my cuts, the next thing I do is DS the vocals. And this is just a typical DSer. I can show you the settings on here. I went in there and I picked the frequency that I liked and I'm just doing a general DS on it. Again, I don't want it over DS because it sounds really fake, but here it is without the DSer. Machines controlling humans and humans controlling nature. God is scared I mean, it wasn't too bad originally. That is why he never showed up. Here it is with it on. We're inhaling toxic vapor, machines controlling humans and humans I don't know, just tighten it up for me nature. a little bit better. God is scared of what he created. That is why... After I DS, I send it right to my compressor. And in Ableton, there's a compressor called the Glue Compressor, which is really, really nice. It's almost got a similar feel to an 1176, which is one of my favorite compressor on vocals. Now, you can hear the magic of this compressor in a second. So, this is the vocals without the compressor. Innocent killed. Innocent kids who didn't do shit. They're dropping those missiles and killing these people. This big Now, I'm going to engage the compressor. Now, listen to this. Nature, God is scared of what he created. That is why he never showed up. I don't know. It just made it sound magic. I don't know what it does, but it sounds really nice. And it brought some harshness in the vocals which I really like. After I compress, I go into my EQ and this is where I boost the frequencies which I think need to be there. Once again, I'm going to play this without the uh, EQ. Controlling humans and humans controlling nature. God is scared of what he... It's kind of muffly in the min range and stuff. Now with the EQ, you'll hear the difference. So here it is with the EQ. We're inhaling toxic vapor. Machines it just sounds so much better. And humans controlling nature. So I'll play it again, I'll engage and disengage the EQ so you hear the difference. So this is about the EQ. Ruth, why am I throwing newspapers? Enlightenment with the EQ. We're inhaling toxic vapor, machines controlling humans and humans. So you can see down here what I did with the EQ. Uh, frequency to note is this one right here around 3K. That one's a secret radio frequency. If you want your vocals to cut through on radio, give that one a little bit of a boost trust me you'll thank me later so you can go through the frequencies again these are all different for every single rapper 
Um, it totally depends on the singer, but you can kind of have a look at those of where I'm doing them. Again, I was going for vocals that cut through the mix and also sound very, very in your face. Speaking of in your face, I love this plugin right here. It's called the Arvox. This one's unbelievable for putting vocals right in front of the mix. Just slap this plug in on your vocals, play around with the threshold so you get about three to four dB of gain reduction, and just listen to the magic happen. Here, I'll play it without the uh, Arvox. Nature, God is scared of what he created. That is why he never shows with it. All the blood that drips, innocent killed, innocent kids. I don't know, man. It just made the vocals pop. I love what it does to the vocals. What could possibly be the easiest prophecy? Nothing. All right, guys. So, on uh, Probdi's vocals, uh, the other rapper that's in this record, I didn't really do too much. The only difference was I added this compressor here to his vocals. See, the problem was his vocals were recorded in a different studio, possibly on a different mic. And when I had the two together, they just didn't sound right. So I needed to get them sound sort of in the same mode. And uh, obviously I use some EQ tricks. You can also see that some of the frequencies I use that I cut are different. Um, but essentially all the techniques are the same. So this is the only difference. So I'm going to do is I'm going to play this without the CLA-2A. You're going to notice a dip in volume just because there's another compressor in the makeup gains. But hopefully you can hear the difference and hear what this compressor does to his vocal. So this is without the CLA-2A. Okay, now this is with the CLA-2A. I don't know, man. It just did something really, really nice to the vocals, which I really liked. Honestly, I just slapped this on to see what it sounded like, and it worked out perfect. So I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to take it on and off so you hear the difference. Okay, so this is without it. Engage. I don't know, it just really smoothed out his vocals, but they still sounded harsh and powerful. All right, guys, so I'm going to get this question asked a lot. So here are the EQ cuts that I did on comms vocals. Those are the ones right here. So I'll let you guys pause the screen right now and take a look at them. Now here are the EQ settings for all the boosts that I did on comms vocals. And those are right over here. I'll let you guys pause the screen and have a look at those. Here's all the EQ cuts that I did on Brub's vocals right here. Again, I'll let you pause the screen right now so you can have a look at those. And finally, here are all the EQ boosts that I did on Brub's vocals right over here. And I'll let you guys pause the screen right now so you can have a look at those. Now with the background vocals, I'm really, really picky. So I went in here and basically cut them all up and make sure they all lined up properly so they sounded good. Now all of these tracks are bust to this uh, background vocal sub here. And on that, we've got basically a delay and a metal flanger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the background vocals without the effects. As you can see, the EQ settings are all the same. I just copy, cut, and paste it from the lead vocal track and paste them in here. I didn't really do much to them at all. So these are the background vocals without the delay and the meta flanger. Here's the background vocals with the delay. I'll put the uh, meta flanger on. And now with the meta flanger, I just have it set to a preset which is called chorus medium. So this is what it sounds like with both the delay and the meta flanger. So I'll play this again without them. And now with them on both right here. So just to give the background vocals some dimension and a little bit of space as well. Now all the vocals are sent to a sub called Allvox. And on that bus, there's not really much going on. There's just stereo plug-in. I'm putting compressors or anything like that on there. Just because I felt the vocals sounded really, really good. So this is all going to make sense when I actually play the record. So let's play the vocals in with the mix. So I'm just going to play a little bit of Calm's verse, the background vocals, and of course, probably these verse, just so you get an idea of what it sounds like. All right, so this is with everything on, all the plugins and all the EQs and effects on the vocals. If they don't tell you the truth, why am I throwing newspapers? Enlightenment is boundless, we're inhaling toxic vapor. Here's probably these vocals right here. And here's the background vocals. Escape. 
So you guys have it. Here's how I mix vocals in a hip hop record. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I will have more tutorials on how to mix a hip hop record with this song that I'm working on real soon. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date with latest greatest information. I'm your boy DJ Reminis. Peace out.